Hi, this tutorial is for users that currently have a classic Google site and want to convert it to the new Google site. When we convert your site to the new Google site, you don't have to worry because it's just a draft until you publish it. So this video will cover checking if your site can upgrade to the new Google sites and how to do it. Let's get started. First, if you don't see this pencil icon at the top right or this gear, uh, you might be viewing your web page as the viewer. So here you'll notice I don't have the pencil icon at the top. I'll scroll down to the very bottom of the Google site and you'll click this sign in. And then sign in with your Google account. Great, you should see the pencil and the new page button at the top along with the convert your site banner. If your Google site's eligible for the upgrade, you'll see this banner or you can click the gear and choose manage site. Then choose convert to new sites. As mentioned before, we're going to create a draft of your new Google site, but here you can check mark if you want to share your new site with the same people for editing purposes. You can check mark this and click start. Then just wait for the process to complete. And if your site is really large, this may take a while and you'll get an email on completion. Otherwise you can click continue here and then choose review draft once you've clicked the review draft button you'll be brought to the new Google Sites editor and I've made a whole entire series all about how to publish and use the new Google Sites so you can check out the link that I've created in the cue cards or in the description of the video not all things can be converted to the new Google Sites. As you'll see here, there is a sub-listing page module that can't be listed. So you can choose to delete that section by clicking the trash can by hovering over each of those sections or you can delete the component that couldn't be converted. Check out the rest of your site and the pages contained in it to see how your conversion worked and when you're ready you can publish the site to either the same address or a new site. Let's go over those processes here. Now when I'm ready to publish I'll click the publish button at the top right corner. Then this first option we can choose whether to keep the existing address and the traffic will be redirected to the new site. The original site will be moved to the migrated site section in the classic sites and then deleted after 30 days. In this example, I'm going to create a brand new address so that I can direct traffic to that new link. I'll have to change my link everywhere else in this case, but I can just give that address here. I'll call it classic to new sites. Now, this entire address at the bottom is what I can give to people to get to the new address. And when we're ready, we'll click publish. Great, it's publishing live to the web. Thanks for watching my videos and be sure to subscribe to get more videos like this every Tuesday and be sure to like it if you found it helpful or share it. I really appreciate your comments too. They help me create better videos in the future. So thanks for watching and check out the playlist on the new Google Sites.